there, this is Connie with Constantly Stamping. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this fun uh, chevron background using my Digital Studio um, geometrical download and the Silhouette Studio software. So I believe this will work in all versions of the Silhouette Studio, but I am using the Designer Edition, just so that you know, just in case it doesn't work in your version. So let me move this off to the side and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is I need to get my chevron shape from my digital studio. So I'm going to go to File, Merge, and I know that I need to find that folder. Now I'm already in it, but I'm going to go back and show you how I got there. So we're going to go to Computer. Mine is on my C drive. I'm going to look under, on my particular computer, it's under the Program Files x86. Yours may be just Program Files. Select OK. Scroll down until you find the My Digital Studio folder. Double click. And then I'm going to go to Components, Stamps. And I've already downloaded the Geometrical Download. So I'm going to find that folder. There it is and nothing shows up. So what you need to do is go to Types of File or Files Files of Type. That's interesting. I never realized that that was backward. Yoda must have designed this program. So we're going to select All Files and the Chevron Shape. Select OK. So here we have our Chevron Shape. Now we're going to go to the control bar at the top right. You'll see this blue box right here. We're going to select it and then select the trace area. Now we'll draw a box around the chevron and we want that entire chevron to be yellow so we're just going to, in this case, all we have to do is deselect the high pass filter and we get the design we're looking for and then we can just select trace outer edge. Now all we have to do is move the chevron shape. Now let me zoom in so you can see a little better what I'm doing. So we're going to take that shape. We're going to go to Object, Replicate, and I'm going to do a row of three. So that gives me three. Now I need two more, but it counts this one right here. So if I go to Object, Replicate, and I I tell it to do a um, row of three, it gives me five chevrons. So I know from experience that five chevrons is exactly what I want. So now I'm just going to, I need these to overlap so that I can weld the image together to be one long continuous piece. So I need to nudge it till they slightly overlap so that um, I get that um, one piece, so let me see if this works. Let's go to Object and Modify Weld. Okay, so obviously some of them worked and some of them didn't. So let me just nudge this one to the right just a bit and this one to the left. Okay, so let's try this again. We're going to select them all. Object, Modify, Weld. Okay, so now we have our basic shape. So I'm going to take this and I need um, seven in a column so I'm going to go to Object, Replicate and I'm going to do a column of four. Now let me zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to select again Replicate, column of four, and now I have the chevrons that I need. Now the next thing I need to do, I need to group this, but only momentarily. So, go to Object, Group, and then we're going to just put this off to the side. And now we need to draw a box. For, um, we're going to create this inner piece right here. So, I need to um, draw my box and 
go to the scale window and select it and now I can tell it exactly what size I want it to be. The scale, if you see up here on the control bar, it's this box and it has an arrow coming out both sides. So that's your scale. I want mine to be 4 inches wide and 5.25 inches tall and select apply. Now we can pull this all together, put these over each other, just basically select both pieces, go to um, align, align center middle, and it will perfectly align everything where we need it. Okay, so now that we have this piece, I need to select the chevron patterns go to object and ungroup those. Now I can select everything, go to object, modify, subtract. Now I need to draw the box that goes around the outside. So we're going to draw another box. Well, let me do this first. Let's select everything and group it again so that we don't mess anything up. Now I'm going to draw a box just any size, but I can go over here to the scale window and I can tell it I want it exactly 4.25 inches wide and 5.5 inches high. Yep, but it helps if you select the box first. So let's try that again. 4.25 wide and 5.5 inches high. Apply. Now I can select everything. Go to Object, Align, Align Center Middle, and there I have my shape. Now if you want to, just make sure that you do Object, Group, and now you can move this and you've got your cut file. And then what I like to do is cut several different colors and then you can kind of mix and match uh, the, the pieces for each of them. So that's all there is to it. It's a good little exercise if you've never done this before. Um, just to play around and find out what your software can do and how you can combine shapes and, and things and create some fun backgrounds. So I hope you've enjoyed it and um, thank you for watching.